brain syndrome, which has robbed her of her native English accent and left her sounding like someone from a foreign country. She like it's a dream, a nightmare. I don't know about dream because I don't know why this has happened to me. And that's all I want to know is what. Luckily for Kath, she may be about to find out. She and husband Peter have arranged to meet the UK's leading expert on foreign accent syndrome, Dr. Nick Miller. He wants to demonstrate to Kath that despite all appearances, her unfamiliar voice isn't actually a foreign accent at all. Can you see that? Yeah. Text all right there. Yeah. First, Dr. Miller gives her a text with a range of simple words to test just how badly her original voice has been affected. Do we don't know that about my grandfather? I'd rather head out of hot, a black waters, Ruja is dead of butter, meat, is brazer, is a sound or take a shorter walk along. Let's just try individual words on their own. Can you say wish? Do it? Yeah. No. No. About. Our bat. My. Ma. Grandfather. Granddaughters. Dr. Miller wants to discover how seriously the rhythm of Kath's speech is affected by asking her to sing the most basic of tunes. Okay. Right. Now try it with some words. Whatever that was. The tests have given Dr. Miller a clear indication of where Kath's problem lies. You give us some clues about why, why your speech sounds foreign, because the, the sounds are distorted, some syllables kind of get, get lost. And I think th these are all typical of, of, uh, of somebody who's learned English as a foreign language, the missing syllables and the, the altered rhythm uh, to the speech. And I think that, that's, what, that's what gives them the, the impression of the foreign. I understand a little bit more about the foreign accent syndrome in itself. I know there's no magic wand for that, but it makes me understand why I struggle so much. Understanding how her speech has changed is one part of the puzzle. Now Kath and fellow sufferer George have the opportunity to meet a man who may be able to pinpoint more precisely just what's happening inside their brains. Hello. Hello. Very pleased to meet you, Jack Riles. Dr. Jack Riles has come to London yeah. to study them as part of his research, and George has agreed to have an fMRI scan to assess which part of his brain is affected by the syndrome. This is the second time only that functional MRI has been applied to a case of foreign accent syndrome. So it's the only second study in the world, as far as we know. Is you comfortable in this? Yeah. yeah. Can you talk okay? Okay. By asking George to talk while the scan's taking place, Dr. Riles can determine which areas of his brain are active during speech and which areas are damaged. I would like to learn to sing again and round off my work. Your brain looks lovely. My brain looks lovely. You found one, then. <laughs> With the scan over, Dr. Riles checks the results, and they're quite unexpected. The pictures show damage to George's left brain stem, an area never previously thought significant in foreign accent syndrome. And this is very different than other cases of foreign accent syndrome. So that opens up the possibility that somehow the brain stem is also involved in programming speech yeah. in a way that we don't understand. So it opens a new avenue of research up. So that is very good. That's, uh... Dr. Riles has learned something which could help sufferers, but he's not able to give George and Kath an instant cure. I know. If you keep always looking for a total recovery, you can be waiting a long time because you should be pleased that we are able to speak. speak. I love oh, to meet you again. Yes, I really Someday we will meet. Yes. You have a safe journey. Yes, yeah, say hello to your wife for me, but I, I know will I don't tell Kitty today. all about you. Good. Kath and George's willingness to find answers is a benefit to them and also helps experts fight their condition and learn more about the brain in general. With so many nerve cells in the brain, the brain can go wrong in all kinds of different ways. But it's only often when it does go wrong that we learn, in fact, paradoxically, how bits of it work.